Hello, Dane and Solve here for KMAC Museum's Tiny Art Tales. Glad to be with you today. Today's theme is about a couple different words. I'm going to say the words and maybe you can make the moves with your body at home. Water. Islands. Change. Moving. Alone. Together. <laughs> Alive. <laughs> okay. So, each of the things we're reading and singing about is a bit about being alive and islands and, and, and water and, and moving and change. And last but not least. Oh, yes. Oh, and we are also, what are we animals. in? Animals. What are we in? We are in a boat. We are in a boat. We've taken some cushions on the floor uh, and uh, put a blanket down and we are pretending we are in a boat And today. we have toys of sea animals and animals who like to play in the Antarctic sea animals. Oh yes, here's this little thing. It's an octopus. And who is that other little, little creature? It's a puppy. A little puppy. I see that one over there. What is this one though? This one is my seal named and Icy. A little seal named Icy. So they're going to be riding with us in the water. So the first poem I'm going to read is by Carl Sandburg, and it's from the Poetry Speaks to Children book, and it's called On a Flimmering Flume You Shall Ride. It's made up of a hundred made-up words. There's some funny words in here, so see if you hear any funny made-up words. And try and hold up your finger every time you hear a funny word <laughs> so you can count how many funny words you have at the end. That's a great idea. Nobody nookers the shaft of a slough. Nobody slimmers a wench with a winch. Nor higgles armed each with a niggle and each the flim draft of a smee. <laughs> Each the in midi hum of a smoo. Then slung me doors with a flag darsh, and creep me deep with a craw bright. Let idle winds plodaddle and dorshes, and you in the gold and the gloaming, you shall slum with the hoolips. On a flimmering flume you shall ride. Then they shall tell you, fetish and desist <laughs> on a flimmering flume. You shall ride. Did you hear any silly words in there? Like a hundred. <laughs> Can you name one of them? Nor higgles. <laughs> Crawbright? What are those? I have no you, idea what a nor higgles is. But here's the picture. And you can kind of get a sense that it's some sort of ride. And it's fast. And... A flume can also be like a, a water roller coaster, too. So, can we get all those ideas in there? Oh, and you're riding on a boat in the water. Right, right. And since we're in a boat, we're going to sing a song now about um, rowing a boat. Do you want to swim in the water Yay. while I row? Okay, so I'm just going to swim while I row a bit. Let me get my pitch. <laughs> Smoothly glide, smoothly glide, 
with a little time. Let the waves and wind be mingled with the melody. Sing and float, sing and float in a little boat. <laughs> So the next one we're going to read. You want to hop back in the boat, Tobe? It is. It is going to be called Drumroll, please. <laughs> How to live on an island. And, oh, did we forget that? Oh, we forgot. We'll read that in a minute. Oh, no, we'll do that. We'll do it. That's a good idea. Let's read the other poem because somebody's going to read it and it's funny. It's called... Daddy fell into the pond. <laughs> Everyone grumbled. The sky was gray. We had nothing to do, nothing to, and nothing to say. We were near the end of a dismal, a dismal day. Then there Seem seemed to be nothing beyond. Beyond. Then. Daddy fell into the pond, <gasps> and everyone's face grew merry and bright, <laughs> and Timothy danced for sheer dis delight. delight. Give me the camera, quick, oh quick, <laughs> he's crawling out of the duckweed, click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up. up. Doubled shaking. up, sh shaking silently, and the ducks all quacked as if they were da daft. daft, and it sounded as if the old dra Drake Drake laughed. Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't res respond. respond when Daddy fell into the pond. Oh no. <gasps> Everything was so serious. And then it's not. Oh my. He's all wet. All <laughs> wet. <laughs> now we're going he to fell read. overboard. Now we're going to read how to live on the island. Oh, wait. Let's read. Let's uh, let's sing Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Yes. Okay. I'm going to swim again. Oh, oh no. Merrily we roll along. That's the next one. Merrily we roll along. Roll along, roll along, merrily we roll along over the deep blue sea. Do you want to do a slap? Ooh. We can do clapping. Yeah. You can find a buddy. Okay. Find someone. Okay. Or pause the video. So let's do clap, clap. Oh, sorry. Pause <laughs> tap, the video and tap. find someone. Oh yeah, pause. Pause. Ooh. Pause. If you don't have someone. Pause the video if you don't have someone, and then unpause it when you don't when you have someone. Okay. Okay. Let's start again. Okay, I think we're we ready. Need to start again. Okay. Let's do. Let's get. Time. Let's get this. Uh, tap, tap, clap, clap together, together. Clap, tap, clap, clap together, together. Tap, tap, clap, clap together, and together. And once you get it, you can do it a little faster. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just this be the for the song for the tempo of this song. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along over the deep blue sea. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along over the deep blue sea. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along over the deep blue sea. Merrily we roll along, roll along, roll along. Merrily we roll along over the deep blue sea. Oh, overboard! Oh, they fall overboard! Oh no! Life, wait! Here, let me send you a life preserver. No! No! You. Oh, but I fell overboard. Woo! Life preserver. Okay, life preserver. Okay, I got it. Woo! Thanks for saving me. Okay, so our next book is going to be How to Live on an Island. I'm not going to read exactly all of the words. Yes, because it's way too long. And it it relates pages. more to our situations, kind of being on islands in our houses right now. How to Live on an Island by Sandy Gingras. I think that there's no truer place than an island. 
whether it's a sandbar or a bubble up of volcanic rock or a jut of tropical coral. An island stands only by some whim of fate, given a chancy foothold among the chaos. When I go to an island, I know that I'm in that state of grace in which anything can happen. A day on an island can be like a wild ride on a wild thing. The ground shifts and hisses. The sand is moving around. The boundaries grow and recede. The tides yearn and the moon falls. The very air pushes us around. Let's pretend like we're blowing in the wind. Oh, the wind is so strong. I'm going to do a sign language. I can't help but know that a day here is not that grounded, predictable thing I thought, sometimes hoped it was, but it's as swervy and alive as we are. I have no idea how to do it. I'm just... Sometimes life seems like a hurricane, hurrying yeah. us and swirling us along too fast. And then, no. and then I get blown overboard. An island for me is a still point. It's like the eye of a hurricane, except an island's eye is lazy, probably closed, taking a nap in the sun, letting life just sink in. I'm swimming back. An island never lets us forget the great value of doing Nothing. Nothing. Many people live or vacation on islands because they're in search of a simpler life. But sometimes the trip to simplicity becomes a complicated one. Just think of what most people pack. Like the kitchen sink. Who and packs it's off the kitchen sink? Well, some people pack a whole lot of things to go on vacation and they don't even use the stuff. And it's often a long journey, especially with traffic. What always helped me as a kid when we were going on summer vacation was rolling down the windows. Then I'd notice everything I could see and I'd just breathe. These things still help me to get to simplicity. If you're going, maybe they'll help you too. So here are some pictures and ideas of how to live on an island. Be transported. Let me get a little closer. Be transported. Oh, she's carrying a suitcase of simple things. And a dolphin is pushing her around. Float. Who's holding that float? Um, a dog. A doggy. That lady just floating on a raft. In the sun. And the dog's holding it. Make a splash. What do you think make a splash means? Um, like jump in the water. And be bold. Listen in on shells. What do you think this man is listening to? In shell the shells? music. Shell music. <laughs> what does shell music sound like? Good to listen in on nature. Stretch! Oh my, that looks fun. I want to see. see. Run with waves. Oh, little sandpipers. They're running with the waves. <laughs> oh, the gr that one has green tennis shoes. And they all have shorts in the other one with yellow shorts has a hat on. <laughs> Laugh like a gull. Ah! Ha ha ha! That was really good, Sylvie. I did not do that! <laughs> hey! Carry a bucket. I won't give you away next time. <laughs> Boogie! Na 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 We can do all of these things right here. Let's boogie. 
<laughs> oh, this next one. Sugar yourself with sand. Or dirt. You can use dirt too. Dirt's just as fun. But you will get messy. Dirt That's okay. Off you. Ebb and flow. Enjoy you your food. Enjoy that apple juice. Enjoy that cake or um, maybe not cake, uh, raisin bran. No, 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 no. <laughs> not raisin bran. Chocolate lava cake. Chocolate lava cake. Oh, and then this says ride rusty bikes. Ride rusty Go bikes. Go with the wind. Ride Just rusty do it. bikes. Cultivate quiet. Spend, be quiet. spend a little quiet time. Spend a little quiet time. What's this one a picture of? What's this one a picture of? Oh, I think I hear an echo in here. I think I hear an echo Tune in here. Tune up your senses. Tune up your senses. He's playing a giant shell. Walk tender. Walk tender. Ouch! Ouch! Why is it, why is, why are they saying ouch, ouch? Because the sand is Hot. Sound is very hot. Ah, uh, that's one thing I don't like about the beach. But things can be very tender too. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know about yeah. you, but I'm missing my friends a lot. And I know you miss some of your friends too. And but that's kind of tender. But I'm going to have a play date today. <clears throat> oh. And put living things back. Whoa, horseshoe crab says, Not thanks. Safe. Thanks. Don't touch one of the, don't touch a horseshoe crab. They sting you. They don't actually say things. Dance on edges. Build castles and leave them for the moon. Cross bridges. Discover treasure. And the last one, most important, give thanks. Tell your loved ones you love them today. Thank you for joining us on Tiny Art Tales. I love you. Ah. <laughs>